What is COVID? What are its dangerous complications? Can you protect yourself from infection? What do the scientists say? Who is at risk? How is the work on a vaccine against the virus going on? Answers to all these questions you will find out on our program Stop COVID. COVID-19 potentially severe acute respiratory infection caused by coronavirus. It is a dangerous disease that can occur both in the form of an acute respiratory viral infection of the mild form and in a severe form, the complications of which may include viral pneumonia. The most common symptoms of the disease are fever, fatigue and dry cough. In six months, the pandemic has swept the whole world. Restrictive measures have been introduced in many countries. In midst of the quarantine measures, many Kazakhstan citizens ended up abroad. How are they quarantined? What kind of restrictions do they have there? How do residents of other countries, along with our compatriots, experience lockdown? The situations in Germany regarding the coronavirus, or rather the restrictions associated with it, actually differs from one federal state to another. The fact is that the country's leadership is trying to avoid another total lockdown. Therefore, local authorities have the right to independently take certain restrictive measures based on the number of infected in the region. Yes. I'm currently in Frankfurt. Here the situation has not changed much after the lifting of strict quarantine restrictions in early summer. It has been a long time since almost all public institutions have been open – shops, restaurants, museums, as well as most government institutions. However, in these places, as well as in public transport, you must wear the Mundschutz, meaning the mask. All stores warn you to cover your mouth and nose. This, by the way, does not have to be just a mask. Any high-raised scarf will do. Without that protection, I think you won't even be allowed inside. At least, you won't find anyone there without a mask. You will also be asked to use hand sanitizer at the entrance. The epidemiological situation in Germany remains relatively favorable, but here the number of people infected with coronavirus is growing, periodically exceeding the mark of 2,000 new infections per day. The numbers went up again when vacation years came back to the country. Therefore, the Minister of Health of Germany, Jens Spahn, urged citizens to forget about the holiday abroad in the fall and winter season. The Robert Koch Institute in Germany regularly updates the list of countries with an increased risk of infection, including, by the way, most European countries. Traveling there is not prohibited by law, but highly discouraged. Upon return, a test as well as two-week quarantine are required. However, with a negative result, isolation is not always necessary. Here the law operates again at the federal state level. But for violation of the quarantine regime, the fine can be up to 25,000 euros. Another duty of German residents is to leave their first name, last name and contact information when visiting, for example, a restaurant. For providing false information, you face a fine of 50 euros. During the pandemic, the responsibility of each person is important. Doctors say that social distance, wearing masks and self-discipline are those things that can interrupt the chain of infections. Three weeks ago, Anna felt a sore throat and weakness. At first, she thought it was a common cold, but just in case, she resorted to self-isolation. At some point, my sense of taste and smell disappeared. But I must say that I'm allergic and every summer my sense of taste and smell disappear when the season of allergies begin. And I thought that it was an allergy. I thought that was the case and I took some allergy pills. But it all dragged on. Usually with allergies, it lasts three days. But then I felt the same for the fifth day in a row. And there was also temperature and I decided that it was coronavirus. The suspicions needed to be confirmed or refute, and Anna went to take the test. She needed to understand what exactly she was sick with and whether she could be a carrier of the virus. And the test showed antibodies in the active phase, which is a sign that I am at the active stage of the disease. 
заболевания. Anna is already well. Gradually, she returns to her normal life. But the question, does the presence of antibodies guarantee immunity to coronavirus and how long will it last, still worries her. So throat, cough and mild fever? Maybe you should take a coronavirus test. In recent months, this idea has been visiting almost everyone who has the typical symptoms of a common cold. How to check if a person is currently infected and can he infect others? Let's find out. There are several methods for this. First of all, it's PCR, polymerase chain reaction, which allows you to detect the virus directly in the respiratory tract. A swab is taken from the nasopharynx or from the mouth and a PCR is done, from which we find out whether the virus is currently in the body or not. But what if a person has already been ill with COVID-19 and didn't even notice it? After all, this happens often. For many, the disease goes away without obvious manifestations. In order to identify whether there was an infection in the past, doctors use other methods. Now there are many cases when the virus is asymptomatic and we detect antibodies to coronavirus in the blood after several weeks. To do this, you need to pass an analysis for total antibodies and understand whether you have developed immunity to coronavirus or not. To carry out this test, a drop of blood is taken from the patient, placed in a special container and mixed with a reagent. If the sample turns into a different color, this means that the person has suffered a disease and has developed immunity. The second type of test is called a rapid test. The blood is taken from a finger. And this test lets you know within 15 minutes whether you have antibodies or not. The reliability of the test reaches 100%, because if antibodies are found, it means that you have had contact with the virus and already have a certain immunity. Antibodies are special proteins that are produced in the body in response to a virus and they neutralize the virus. But their formation takes some time. This usually takes about a week. After a week, half of the patients have antibodies and after two weeks almost 100%. The presence of antibodies does not exclude the risk of reinfection with the virus, but its probability is 10 times lower in people without detected antibodies. Women who are expecting a baby are in a particularly difficult situation amid the pandemic. Even without coronavirus, pregnancy for many women is a time of fear and doubt. And now there is a new concern. In March, Aida learned that she was pregnant. And then everyone around started talking about the coronavirus. Aida was very worried. She was afraid of getting sick. She has excluded all contacts. She has been only with her family but it was not possible to protect oneself. All the relatives fell ill. Her husband, Aida herself, and her little daughter. Then when I received a PCR test, the test was positive. I had the COVID. I was immediately hospitalized. I was the only pregnant woman at my doctor to whom I came, and the doctor said, he will observe the situation. I did an x-ray. By the way, for pregnant women, they do a gentle x-ray. They give a lead apron. The radiation is much lower. X-rays showed that the lungs are clean. The tests, in principle, were fine. There was no inflammation. Now Aida remembers this with a smile, but then she was scared, both for herself and for the unborn child. Basically, they say that the placenta protects, and at the time, my placenta was already formed. It was 20 weeks. It protected the fetus. Doctors also say that pregnant women give birth. They checked both the amniotic fluid and the placenta. And both in the fluid and in children, they didn't find COVID. I prayed and believed that no harm would come from the COVID. What happens if the mother gets infected with the virus? How the baby in her womb is protected from the infection? How will the childbirth go under quarantine conditions? Pregnant women ask doctors these questions every day.
coronavirus is highly contagious, and for pregnant women, this is a big concern because they are responsible for two lives, theirs and their unborn child. A pregnant woman has a slightly reduced immunity because she needs to carry a foreign fetus. In our experience, in the experience of other countries, approximately 98-99% of babies are born COVID negative. It's good. For pregnant women, if it's mild or moderate, it's not necessary to prescribe antiviral drugs, and antibiotics are undesirable. Everything goes away by itself. Well, if it's pneumonia, especially in a severe stage, then it's a huge risk to pregnant women. It gets stronger. Women who are expecting all over the world are advised to adhere to strict quarantine. You should avoid visiting crowded places as much as possible, keep your distance, do not use public transport, and reduce contacts to a minimum. This is the responsibility of not only pregnant women, but also her family, her husband, parents, with whom she lives in the same house. And if they live in different houses, then she needs to limit communication, if there is a risk of infection. If she works, then she should keep the distance of at least two meters. She should wear a mask, frequently wash her hands. And if she works as a cashier, for example, and is in contact with people often, then there should be a screen. It's better if she finds a job where she has a minimum of communication. If you fail to protect yourself and the test for detecting coronavirus in a pregnant woman is positive, the most important thing is not to panic. Like most people, pregnant women usually experience mild to moderate symptoms of the disease when they become infected with COVID-19. This includes cough, fever, shortness of breath, headache and loss of sense of smell. One drink with lemon, honey, raspberries, breathing exercises, airing the room, vitamin C the maximum that she can take. If shortness of breath appears, the temperature lasts more than three days, then she should consult the specialist, and it's better if she's hospitalized. Because a pregnant woman's risk is always higher than that of a non-pregnant woman. With the spread of the virus, anxiety among the population is also growing. People are afraid of infection, complications after illness, economic consequences of a pandemic, fear for the health of their loved ones. Of course, I'm worried. My aunt got sick. She's at an age. It's very, very scary. I even worry about myself, if I get sick or not. Everyone's immunity is different. Now is the time that we have to adapt. If it's necessary, then it's necessary. And there is nothing you can do about it. You can just watch TV, read a book, and chat with friends online. It has a huge impact on the economy. I have a family. I haven't been able to find a job for six months now. A pandemic and the associated changes in the usual reality is a serious task for a person, especially an emotional person who is regularly exposed to stress and anxiety. How to protect your psyche in conditions of quarantine and isolation? It's important to be able to control your emotions and think positive, experts advise. Every day we see frightening statistics of sick, infected people, other statistics of death. Therefore, it's important to take a break in the information flow and get away from the news. Now these numbers are rising. Literally at every corner they are screaming about danger. And unfortunately, people are more scared than necessary. That is, there is a healthy level of anxiety. This is safety. It is to be careful, realizing that you can endanger yourself and your loved ones. But excessive panic is the other extreme, with which, in addition to the fact that it reduces vitality and lowers your energy, it impacts your immunity in a negative way. Doctors were familiar with such manifestations even before the pandemic. There are people who throw themselves into a state of panic, fearing that they will certainly catch some kind of disease. Increased anxiety leads to the fact that they get real symptoms from imaginary symptoms. Even the initial symptoms can provoke complications if a person expects them. This is the structure of the human personality. However, excesses happen here too. According to experts, most of the coronavirus patients considered themselves invincible. The degree of contact with reality is also very important. Even if you have doubts and even if this is not a COVID, 
But for the safety of loved ones, you must take responsibility and wear a mask where there is a large crowd of people. So in relation to the pandemic, the golden rule is important. You shouldn't panic, but you shouldn't diminish the danger of the virus either. And from all sources of information, you need to choose the most proven ones. It's necessary to rely on the comments of officials, recognized experts and the recommendations of doctors, and not dubious information posted in messengers. For example, that's what this couple did. Today is the day of the registration of our marriage, but without a wedding celebration. The quarantine gave the opportunity to get to know each other better. Without thinking twice, they decided not to postpone the wedding until later. After all, experiencing adversity together is not only easier, but also much more pleasant. We're not disappointed. May God grant everyone health.